Hello and welcome to another Children's Moments here at Heavenward Thinking. Today we're doing a special Thanksgiving object lesson. So I'm going to turn it over to Miss Ruth and she's going to read something and do another object lesson for us this week. And Timothy, you'll be very happy that this one will not endanger you or the room. <laughs> so we are going to talk about Thanksgiving. I want to read a couple of verses. First from Psalm 100 verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. And then if we go over to Psalm 106, praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever. So we need to give praise for the Lord no matter how hard things are, how difficult, how little or how much we have, we need to give thanks. And based on that, I want to share a little story that goes with our object lesson tonight. And I want to give credit to the Sunday School Network for sharing this story, but this is something that's well known, well known, excuse me, um, from history. But maybe you haven't heard this story yet. So Timothy, this is your first plate for Thanksgiving dinner. Does that look like a lot of food? No. What is on your plate? Five little pieces of corn. Do you think that'll fill you up? No. Do you know what it represents? Uh, it represents something from a story about an earlier Thanksgiving. Well, listen to this story, Timothy, and we'll talk more about the five kernels of corn. Do you think the first pilgrims who came to this country were complainers? No. They wanted to be free to worship God. They worked hard to start a new life in this land. The harvest of 1621 was abundant. Governor Bradford declared a day of Thanksgiving and invited the local Indian chief it was a shock when he arrived with 90 other Indians. They celebrated this first harvest, the first Thanksgiving, in 1621 with three days of feasting, games, and prayers. But the food supply was greatly depleted later by 35 colonists who arrived by ship with no food or extra clothing. Many people died that winter from sickness and lack of food. By the following spring, the pilgrims were starving. The harvest in this second year was a failure. By the spring of 1623, two years after the first Thanksgiving, daily rations were reduced to five kernels of corn a day. Twelve weeks of drought dried up their crops that spring and summer. One day, the desperate pilgrims fasted and prayed for eight hours straight. The next morning, God answered their prayers with a gentle rain that continued for 14 days and saved the crops. At a Thanksgiving celebration that fall, the first course was different. What do you think, Timothy, they got for their first course? Five kernels of corn. That's right. An empty plate with five kernels of corn was placed before each pilgrim. The pilgrims stood up one by one and shared five things for which they were thankful for. First of all, I want us to pay attention to, we don't always hear this part of the story, that even after their great celebration for what God had done, they struggled afterwards and went through a time, but they didn't give up hope. They prayed to God and fasted, and their prayers were answered. And they wanted to remember what God had brought them through, and that's why they were given that plate with just five kernels of corn. So, Timothy, please mm -hmm. tell us one thing you're thankful for for each kernel of corn. I'm thankful for uh, my Lord and Savior Jesus, for my family, my friends, my girlfriend. i uh, thankful for my ministry here at Heaven We're Thinking. And I am thankful for our Lord and Savior Jesus for his grace and his mercy. I'm thankful for my husband and my son and my extended family. I'm thankful for my school, my students. I'm thankful for food, that we get more than just five kernels of corn on our plates. I'm thankful for God's word that reminds us in everything to give thanks. And the antidote to problems is prayer. prayer. And that's what the pilgrims found out. So I hope you learned something about a little more of your history, but a little bit more of God's history and how God is faithful and he can help us have a thankful heart in times of good and in times of bad. Absolutely. And we hope you've been encouraged by this and that you'll find reason to be thankful this year as you celebrate Thanksgiving. And we wish every one of our listeners a happy Thanksgiving from all of us here at Heavenward Thinking.